all my other pregnancies, I always got pedicures. Um, and I think that they helped with more than just, you know, the vanity side of not wanting to give birth with calloused feet, hooves, as my ex used to call them. Um, but I'm retaining a lot of water in all seriousness and bloating. And I, I do typically with all three of my pregnancies. Um, I usually weigh around 150 pounds. I'm five foot nine. Um, I haven't really been gaining steady. Uh, I gained a lot the first three months and then I kind of just tapered out. Um, the baby is getting bigger and bigger though, which is a good sign. Now I'm going to try to flush my system with watermelon, um, pineapple juice, maybe some cucumbers. I'm going to rehydrate in an effort that my body recognizes I'm not dehydrated and starts to let go. I don't know if that last sentence um, posted, I'm going to rehydrate um, so that my body is under the impression that we are not dehydrated um, because typically when you bloat um, or hold water, it's because your body is fearful of dehydration. Um, so as weird as it sounds, having more fluids is actually usually the answer. My, I can tell I'm dehydrated because of my lips, um, which is ironic because I'm literally drinking about a gallon of water with other beverages um, every two to three days. As a weightlifter, I'm used to drinking a gallon of water every single day. Um, but since I have not been working out and sweating profusely, I have not been forcing the gallon. I feel like it overworks the kidneys. Um, it's definitely needed if you're weightlifting because of the hormones you release, but I'm not right now. So a half a gallon is ideal. You guys will also notice that I'm always wearing compression stockings or a tall stocking if possible. Um, obviously this is not like the most comfortable, especially in the summer but um, it definitely helps with the swelling and the water retention during pregnancy.